What happened to Mary Magdalene after the crucifixion? Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about a key figure in the New Testament of the Christian Bible, Mary Magdalene. We'll specifically focus on her journey and experiences after the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Who was Mary Magdalene? Mary Magdalene, often referred to simply as Mary, was one of the most influential women in the New Testament. She is recognized in Christian traditions as a devoted follower of Jesus and is considered by some to be among the inner circle of his disciples. Often confused with other women named Mary in the New Testament, Mary Magdalene is unique and different because of her association with Magdala, a town in Galilee, hence her name. Mary Magdalene and the Crucifixion According to the Gospel accounts, Mary Magdalene was present at the crucifixion of Jesus. She is often depicted at the foot of the cross, standing beside Jesus' mother, Mary, and the Apostle John. It was a moment of profound grief and loss, but her presence was indicative of her unwavering loyalty and devotion to Jesus. The Resurrection The events that followed the crucifixion were transformative for Mary. According to all four canonical Gospels, Mary Magdalene was the first person to see Jesus after his resurrection. This has made her a significant figure in Christianity as she played a key role in proclaiming the news of Christ's resurrection, which is a cornerstone of Christian belief. What happened to Mary Magdalene after the crucifixion? The Bible does not provide specific details about Mary Magdalene's life following the events of the resurrection. As a result, what exactly happened to her is a subject of speculation and tradition rather than historical fact. One of the more popular traditions, especially in the Eastern Orthodox Church, is that Mary Magdalene continued to preach the gospel in various parts of the world. There's a belief that she ended up in Ephesus with Mother Mary and John the Apostle, living out the rest of her life there. Some accounts suggest she might have retreated to a life of solitude and contemplation. In Western Christianity, a different tradition developed in the Middle Ages that Mary Magdalene, along with Mary of Jacob and Salome, traveled by ship to the region now known as Southern France, where she continued to preach and convert people to Christianity. This tradition also suggests that she lived out the rest of her life in solitude and prayer in a cave known as the Saint Balm, which became a pilgrimage site. Whether she ventured forth to preach or withdrew into solitude, the important aspect of Mary Magdalene's story is her dedication to Jesus' teachings and her pivotal role in the resurrection narrative. Her legacy continues to inspire Christians around the world today. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it has been enlightening as we explored the journey of the fascinating figure that is Mary Magdalene. Remember, the paths of history are often shrouded in mystery, and the journey of faith is a personal and profound one. Stay curious, and until next time.